morning, Washington. How you doing? This is Davey. I'm here today for uh, Dave TV on the uh, 20... Uh, the, the <laughs> Valentine's Day. Happy VD to you all. It's the 14th of February, 2012. And um, we have a very special Dave TV for you today. <laughs> the radio ratings came out today. No, no biggies. Just some weeklies. Um, the, um, hi. Uh, just the, um, the third week of January. What's interesting, though, is that these ratings are, do start to show the new WNEW, okay? So if you go to DCRTV.com right now, you'll see the six plus numbers. Those are the beauty contest overall numbers, okay? And uh, what's a couple interesting things in there is that WNEW debuts at 31st, okay? Now, half of the week, they were still doing the history of rock and roll, and the other half of the week, they were doing the news. So the week went from the 19th to the 25th or 26th of January, and uh, the ratings period, that was the week of the ratings period, and WNEW didn't start till the 22nd. So, you know, it's not really much of a, you know, nobody's really paying much attention yet, And uh, but anyhow... It's interesting to see 31st. So nothing to worry about for T.O.P. Although, one thing WTOP does have a little bit to worry about is the fact that Whamu was tied for first place with WTOP this week. Okay, so 88.5, you know, the, that lefty, that lefty uh, American University public radio station, they were tied with WTOP, both in first place. So check out the numbers. Now, hey, I'm headless. Headless Dave. <laughs> Dave, Dave, we want to know what the male demo ratings were for this past week. Uh, you know, okay, so here we go. These are the male demo ratings for Washington, D.C. <laughs> for the uh, week, third week of January. These are the full day, the full day. Okay, so if you add up the numbers, there's some interesting stuff here. Okay, so let's take a look. This is down at the bottom of the barrel. These are, this is 33rd place. We have a whole big tie here. WAMU Stream, which is probably Bluegrass Country 105.5. Wave Up POC. This is the Washington Market. QSR, Baltimore Station. Spaz, that 570 Sports Talker. WNDM down there in Southern Maryland. PFW and WSMD in Southern Maryland. 30th place, we have Baltimore ZRQ. Winchester's Wink. And uh, 900 WILC. Okay, so that's the very bottom of... What men are listening to in the Washington market as of the third week of January. Jumping up the chart here. Uh, look at that. WNEW debuts at 29th place. Fredericksburg's BQB there. Uh, Baltimore's WIYY and FRE at 26. Uh, I didn't break out the two WMAs. I mean, they didn't combine them, so, you know, what the hell. I don't know I don't know why Arbitron is still listing them as two different stations, MAL, AM, and FM, but they are, you know, they merged, became one station. You know, WMAL, FM started in September, and they both run exactly the same thing on 105, 9, and 630, so I don't know why they're not one station. You know, when you look at these numbers, you know, they don't break out WTOP's three different signals, so why are they still breaking out WMAL's two signals? I don't know. But anyhow, MAL, FM, AM, rather, is 25th. Fredericksburg's FLS is 24th. We have Fredericksburg, a lot of Fredericksburg there. Uh, GRX is 22nd. WDCN, Spanish 87.7 there, 21st. And WIDA, classical 90, uh, 90.9 90 at 20th place. So now we're getting up into the, the big numbers here. Okay, so here we go. This is men, 25, 54 age group. WML FM is 19th place. MZQ is 18th place. Now, this is interesting. Look how low JFK places. JFK is in a three-way tie with PGC and RQX. And they should be doing better in men. They really should be doing better in men. They should be a top five station in men in the Washington market full day. Look how bad they're placing. That's not good news for JFK. Um, you know, it could be the Lanham curse. I'll tell you, I really think... One of the big mistakes CBS Radio made, and I know it sounds stupid, because how's a radio station going to sound any different, whether it's in Fairfax or Lanham? I really think it was a huge mistake to move JFK out of Fairfax. I really do, and I think JFK is going to pay the price for it. They're going to pay the price for it. 
You know, there's something about being in a studio that's 30 miles from where all the suits are located that lets you have a little more freedom in what you're saying, first off. And number two, you know, Northern Virginia thought of this as their radio station. And, you know, the center of the Washington market ain't D.C., it's Fairfax County. And abandoning Fairfax County, I mean, people are going to remember that. I think a lot of listeners are going to remember that. Yep. Yeah. Whatever. 13th place, uh, El Zol, there on 107.9, with, tied with GTS. Praise 104.3 at 12th, KYS at 11th, and MMJ at 10th. So now we go into the top nine for a male demo, men, 25-54, third week of January. And there we go. Look at that, fresh, chicky. I, I always thought, it's amazing to me that fresh, which I think would think of as a chicky station, right? Chick rock, right? <laughs> Their ninth place. And look at this, how much better WTEM is doing overall in the full week. Eighth place. You know, it could just be maybe a... I like the Junkies, but I'll tell you, TEM has a much better lineup the rest of the day. I'll tell you, they do. I like the Junkies on JFK. If you could put the Junkies and the rest of WTEM's lineup together, you'd have a killer station. <laughs> wash. Look at that. Wash. Seventh place among Men. Men. Big, I can understand that. Classic Rock, H-U-R, DC 101, Whammo, third place, Hot 99.5, second, and of course, T.O.P. first. In men, 25-54, third week of, third week of January, full day, a whole day crammed, slammed together. So there we go. <laughs> I don't know, I think, I think two things, I think, you know, I think it was a mistake for CBS to have uh, moved uh, JFK to Lanham. I really think they should have kept it in Fairfax. And at the same time, I think that uh, if, if WNEW is going to be a success, it's going to need a better signal. Going to need a better signal. Going to need a better signal. So there. <laughs> uh, somebody pointed out to me that uh, over the weekend, I think it was the 12th, that that was the um, that was the 20th anniversary of the demise of WAVA. WAVA, you will recall, used to be a cool rock station, then became a top 40 station with Don and Mike were on it. So now let's play a few uh, memories. This is from 1983. And this is uh, another one. I don't have a date on this. That was probably from the mid mid to late 80s and uh, 87. Jim Elliot has a wonderful And another one. Washington. Arlington, Washington. And another one from the rock days. Okay, so WAVA, their studios were in Arlington there on Lee Highway, and uh, great station. They, you know, the olden days of WAVA, 105.1 and 780, were, they were a news station way back when. Arthur Arundel owned them, you know, publisher from Northern Virginia. And then, hmm, they had a variety of formats in the 80s, uh, and then eventually settled into a rock format. I believe Surf worked there for a while and then transported themselves into a top 40 kind of contemporary hit format. And you had uh, Don and Mike. I believe Jim Elliott was doing the mornings and Don and Mike were doing afternoons. Or, no, 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 I think I think it was, here's my memory. They made me wrong. Jim Elliott was doing mornings. Don Geronimo alone was doing afternoons. And then he moved in with Mike O'Mara in more. They, then Don and Mike did mornings on WAVA there from the, from the late 80s into the early 90s. And then 92, the company that owned WAVA, which was Emmis, uh, they had some kind of fire sale to finance. Emmis was buying a baseball team, the Mariners or somebody. They needed a lot of cash and they needed it fast. So they sold WAVA to Sailor, which is a Christian religious entity. And they quickly pulled the plug on WAVA. They kept the call letters and uh, turned it into a Christian talk station. That was 92. That was 20 years ago this week. Uh, Don and Mike, as you will probably recall, uh, moved over to WJFK 
over there in Fairfax back in the glory days. And, and they had Howard Stern on in the mornings on JFK. They had Gordon Liddy on in the middays. And Don and Mike in the afternoons, they had Redskins. It was a killer station. Washington Superstation 1067 WJFK back in the 90s. There we go. And, in, and into the 2000s. And then Howard Stern left and the whole station's kind of... <laughs> They need to go back to Fairfax. They need to go back to Fairfax. All right, folks. That's my Dave TV for today. Thanks for watching. And uh, so there.